Rochit Jain, technical analyst, I understand, joins us from Angel Broking. Rochit, uh, good afternoon. It's good to have you on the show. Uh, we've spent a lot of time beneath the 8200 level in today's session. This wasn't seen in, in those sessions where we have had a sessions where we have had we've recovered above 8200 do you think the risk of reverting to something like an 8100 and 8150 are more live now yeah good afternoon uh, overall we have seen in last two three trading sessions uh, markets have been resisting near this 8300 mark now if we observe the positional charts of nifty and bank nifty then uh, these levels are quite a good uh, acted as a resistance areas in, in the past. Uh, somewhere in May 2015, uh, around 8300, 8330 was the high from where markets had corrected significantly. And after this recent up move of last 2-3 months, we have already retraced 61.8% of this entire corrective move from 9120 to 6800. So that's a quite a big uh, resistance zone over here. So uh, hence we are seeing such uh, profit booking on every rise whenever the market tries to go uh, near the 8300 mark. So on uh, on the lower side, if we see then on uh, on uh, early charts, a good support is placed around 8140, 8150 range. So we believe that 8140, 8150 would be the crucial level to watch whether the index sustains uh, uh, is able to manage those levels or not. We're seeing in the markets right now, and what you said about the range uh, and the levels that we should be watching out for. Uh, what are some of the opportunities you're sensing? I think till this uh, 8140, 8150 is not breached, uh, I don't think that uh, one should uh, be bearish and go short in, uh, in, the, uh, in the index. In fact, at lower level, some of the stocks uh, which have recently outperformed that uh, they could uh, give a good opportunity to create long positions over there. Specifically, among the large cap stocks, we are keenly watching coal India among the heavyweights. Uh, which had given recently given a breakout from a long consolidation phase. So where, which is uh, usually an accumulation whenever some breakout of consolidation phase is seen. So one should not be too much eager to go short at current levels just because the markets have seen some uh, profit booking from higher levels. 8140, 8150 would be the crucial level support level from where some bounce back again could come. And definitely around 8300, some supply zone would be coming in. All right. Uh, Ruchit, uh, for a long while, we had seen that the texture of the market, despite the intraday blips and breaches on the downside that you see, remains to be a buy on dips market. Uh, do you in any way feel that uh, these kind of small corrections that we've seen over the last one or two sessions uh, board some risk for it becoming a sell on uh, a sell on rise market? Or is the overall structure still intact? Because FIIs are continuous buyers, although by very small quantums, in the cash as well as in the future. So the positive trend still remains on uh, the over overall trend still remains positive? Yes, definitely the overall trend still continues to remain positive. Uh, generally, usually when we see you know some big reversals happening, we see some reversal patterns getting formed uh, at the top. As of now, Nifty Bank Nifty, although they have seen some sort of correction or resistance at higher levels, but we have not seen any sort of such reversal patterns getting formed. So unless we see any sort of reversal patterns, you know, it's always a, it's a buy on declines market itself. And uh, you know, specifically, uh, short-term traders and invest investors should not uh, get too much worried about you know just uh, 30, 40, or 50 points uh, correction in uh, in Nifty. Richard, uh, just a quick uh, check with you because we understand the Tata Group stocks have uh, been a major uh, losers really on the Nifty today. What are your views uh, on uh, Tata Motors, Tata Motors DVR? Uh, really, uh, give us a sense as to how you're thinking there. From short-term trading perspective, the stocks have uh, already rallied significantly from their lows. Even uh, if we see the recent last one month, then they have already significantly higher from the lower levels, Tata Motors, which was around 380, 390 zone. So uh, definitely the momentum readings are overbought and are showing some sort of correction. So I am sensing some sort of profit booking to uh, come in Tata Motors. Definitely when I say profit booking, it does not mean that the trend would reverse. It would, uh, the overall structure has remained positive, higher to higher bottom formation is placed. And recently we had seen a good gap of opening around 420, 430 levels. So any corrective move if the stock comes back to 420, 430 range, that would be a buying opportunity uh, over there. A word on the bank nifty also, Ruchit, because 18,000 has been quite a severe resistance and uh, also about the bigger weightage components there, ICICI, SBI, do you, do, will you be a buyer on SBI on declines given the kind of strong momentum that has been witnessed on the counter lately? If bank nifty at current levels, they won't recommend you to go long. Uh, if you observe the weekly or monthly charts in the bank nifty, 
and October 2015 we had seen the highs of around 18,000 levels from where uh, the from where the index had then corrected uh, to sub 1300 levels. The markets are already the Nifty Bank is already trading near those 18,000 18,100 resistance zone. Also, it is 61 plus 0.8 percent retracement of this entire previous uh, downtrend, which was we said lasted for almost one year. So I think it's a major resistance over here, and hence in last couple of days, even we have seen the private sector banks not uh, moving higher. When PSU banks were uh, you know moving higher due to some short covering, so I think one should clearly avoid banking stocks or bank Nifty at current levels. Specifically speaking about SBI, then this stock, uh, although has started forming this higher top, higher bottom recently, I think one should wait for some correction to get into the stock. Those have already missed the rally, should not, uh, you know, just buy uh, just because of that miss out feeling. 190, 192 would be a now strong support base for the stock. And in case if in near term, if stock comes to 190, 192, one should use that as a buying opportunity over there and not at current levels. All right, uh, Richard Jain, uh, Angel Broking, thank you so much for taking us through the markets uh, this Friday. And speaking of which, of course, Pranoy, because it is Friday, we get to have a chance to get you some more, uh, some entertainment in the show because up next, we're going to be getting you the latest releases on Aspire Red Cup. <laughs>